Hey YouTube, Hill Country Husker. Appreciate you guys checking out my videos. Thanks to all my subscribers. Appreciate the comments. Keep them coming. Just want to say thanks for all that. Well, it sounds like uh, Hostess Brands and the Union uh, are going to be having some private mediation talks. That was uh, to happen today, I believe. I haven't seen any headlines on that, but uh, that's probably because it's being held in private, so there won't be anything coming out on that just yet. But um, they're doing this, I think, because the uh, bankruptcy judge said there's too much uh, too much money at stake. Apparently, the uh, the executives at Hostess Brands had uh, some clauses in their contracts that they got a pretty good uh, pretty good payoff for doing for liquidating the company. And even the unions, I think, they had a some some type of deal where they, even they got uh, got a piece of the pie. So a uh, bank, bankruptcy judge said, you guys need to go sit down and uh, hammer out some type of agreement, which uh, they're doing today. Mm, a couple things on that. First off, the union. Uh, you heard my comments on the union. Uh, let's talk about the workers themselves. You know, um, when times get tough, tough decisions have to be made. And if a company's not making any money, and their overheads killing them and their labor costs are killing them uh, they're going to have to make some cuts and that might mean that you'll have to uh, to not get that bonus this year that might mean you might have to take a cut in pay uh, but of course the unions don't want to do that because they're a union and i don't want to be getting all the comments about you know the pro-union and how i'm anti-union and all the hate speech going on so don't hate for that okay uh, but but the primary deal is that uh, sometimes tough decisions have to be made and tough things have to happen uh, the workers need to recognize this. It is better to have a job and be making 8% less than to not have a job and be making 100% less. Uh, of course, the workers don't, don't look at it this way. Uh, in my industry, we have our good years and we have our bad years. And, and in some of the bad years, uh, there's have, there, tough decisions have, have been made. And you just have to deal with them and, and move on and, and uh, look forward to the good years. Now, as far as the Hostess brand uh, management, uh, there's been some accusations that um, you know they're poorly managed and uh, the executives are not doing a good job, and and that may be true. There are uh, bad executives in all businesses, but I'll I'll tell you how you solve that. The board of directors needs to get in there and fire them. Don't put up with it. If they if these guys that are on your management team on your executive management team specifically, if they're not getting the job done, you fire them and you bring somebody in that can get the job done. Don't make excuses. Get rid of them. Don't allow them to have their golden parachute. You take care of the problem. So it's not just uh, not just the union's fault, not just labor's fault. It's also part of the management's fault. But I'm saying it's also the board of directors at Hostess Brands. If you got a problem, guys and girls, fix it. Okay fix it. That's all you got to do and get somebody in that can get the job done. That's what most companies do and you can do the same thing. Now Hostess has been around for 82 some years. All right, It's a big company. They've got uh, trademark names. Twinkies, Ding Dongs, Wonder Bread. You know all the names I'm talking about. So hopefully to see if, the, uh, if uh, these two entities, the uh, management and uh, the labor unions can uh, work something out and um, uh, hopefully you're not one of those guys that went out and hoarded up on Twinkies and are trying to sell them on eBay for 80 bucks because if this deal goes through and they can mediate and, and not liquidate, uh, you're going to be left uh, holding a bunch of Twinkies. Anyway, just my thought. Hill Country Husker. Thanks a lot.